what's in the box. Stay tuned and find out at the end. Do you want more great content from me? Check out the description box down below. So then what we're doing today, we've got a busy day, haven't we? We have. Um, I've got to drop off a deposit for my birthday cake. Um, it's past your birthday. I know it is, but I'm having a little party with the girlies in Nutsford, so I'm getting a cake for that. Um, we've got to drop some stuff off at the charity shops. Uh, we've got to pick up boxes, essential that we pick up boxes. Yeah, we've got to need loads of boxes. You need loads of boxes. Um, you'll be doing the charity shops. I'm going to get some tea bags. Dead exciting, that. Dead and you've got to get food, you've got food shop. And I've got to do Sainsbury's food shop. And we've got, what else? Oh, I've got to collect that thing from the Royal Mail sorting office. Oh, yeah, you've got to And I've got to collect office. Royal Mail sacks because I'm running out of Royal Mail petrol. sacks. Are we doing Hartford and Kingsmead or not? Oh, I don't know. Do I don't know because I've, I've got packing. I've got packing and stuff. So I don't know. I don't know. No, um, I am, I won't have time because I've got to get back to get some jobs done and um, sorting out my social life. Great. Let's get on with it. Sacks. What's in the box? Stay tuned and find out at the end. Doing the old thing for the shop now. What are we getting? Uh, yeah, loads of food. We've got my uh, Easter eggs down here. We've got a Maltese as one, a Milky Bar one, a Smarties one, and then a Dairy Milk one. Right then, just out of Sainsbury's, going around the Chazinio now. Um, and one of my favourite charity shop managers is actually leaving, and it's really, really sad. Um, not because I might not be able to get as much stuff there, but actually because I am sad that she is leaving. Um, so yeah, I mean, what you've got to remember is it's it's not like just about getting money and stuff. It's more about actually seeing people when you're going around the charity shops. Charity shops to me are like a bonus. Um, I don't rely on charity shops to get stock or anything. I just kind of go around for fun. So it's always nice to chat to the managers. And when one of them leaves, it really is quite sad. Um, especially because I've been, that was like the first charity shop I actually opened up and told them I was a reseller at. Um, so it kind of has a little special place in my heart. And it's nice to kind of go back there and see the manage, manager there, well, both the manager and the sales assistant there. And it's sad to think one of them is leaving because I've known them for so long. Um, so yeah, pretty sad, but I'm going to go in there um, last few times over the next few weeks to, well, not the last few times for me, but the last few times I'll actually see that manager in there. Um, so yeah, I'm going to go in there um, and then I'm going to do the other charity shop. So I'll do a bit of filming around them as usual and I will see you in a little bit. Join your poor 
supply of Lego. I never even knew they did Rollo Easter eggs, that is so cool. I'm guessing, oh yeah, find the Rollo chocolate inside, oh god. Probably come back another day and get one of them, they're pretty cool. Not many boxes. Absolutely. Do some filming. Okay. Stocking up on boxes. Stocking up on some boxes. They didn't have that many there actually, but uh, managed to get a few anyway, didn't we? Yeah, we did. Not as many as you usually do. No. We need some like really big ones, that's what we're struggling for. Right then, back home now, as you can see we've got post sacks, we've got some stuff from the charity shop down there, I'll show you in a sec. Boxes, some of the food shopping, uh, I'll show you what's in that box as promised in a second, and uh, went to the lock up and just got one random box of stuff, records and random bits and bobs, old photographs or something, I'm not sure. I don't know where, where they are actually, no they're not old photographs, I thought they were like old postcard photographs or whatever, but it's just a book. Hmm, Bygone, Flodgerum and District, a bit of a local interest book there. Um, but yeah, so I'll show you what's in that and then I'll do the charity shop haul as well. Yay, poly bags. Boom, sorted. Three, zero, one, one, one. Uh, I think that's a lab set or something it's called. Don't think there's any more in there. No. So, pretty cool. Um, bit of Lego investing, obviously. Um, so yeah, they're pretty cool. Happy with them. So, for whatever reason, I kind of went to the charity shop today and um, focused a little bit more on books than I usually would. And I scanned through, I actually had some really good signal in one charity shop. And I scanned through, like, the entire, like, non-fiction book section I didn't really bother with the fiction stuff. I know there is some like good, um, you know, good titles of, of fiction. Like, uh, well, I don't know. I've, I don't know any offhand, but I'm sure there are good, um, some good fiction books that will that'll be some good money. But I like kind of stuck to the non-fiction stuff, and I scanned through the entire row. There was loads of like fishing interest-related books there, cookery books, everything, and I just couldn't find any that, that was suitable for Amazon within my parameters that, that I've kind of set. Um, but anyway, what I did find, I found uh, these uh, cookery books, just Jamie Oliver ones. Now you might be thinking, why the hell did I bother with these Jamie Oliver books? Well, they were like 50p each, and I swear that on Instagram, I think it was uh, Mr. DM, um, that's just my nickname for him, so that isn't actually his like, Instagram handle or whatever. But Mr. DM, I swear he did things with Jamie Oliver books, like Jamie Oliver book bundles and stuff, so for 50p each, I wasn't going to say no, I just take a punt on them, so I've got five of them, I'm going to do them as a bundle, see if they go, I don't know, it's a little experiment, and uh, I got I got a DVD as well, um, a Jamie's DVD, just to basically bundle in, just to make the bundle look a little bit more appealing, and then again, 50p, I don't know whether the code in this is like a one-use kind of uh, thingy key or whatever product key um, but Flight Simulator X I don't know whether there's any money in it or anything I've not done PC games or whatever for ages so I don't know but it looked okay you know Microsoft Flight Simulator X so I don't know 50p I was going to take a chance on it it might be one of them ones that's actually worth like I don't know I think they're worth like 30, 40, 50 quid but I don't know I have to do some research on it but I'm sure uh, some of you will already know whether I've made a fail or not on that one. But yeah, so, I don't know quite how much I can get for the Jamie box, but I mean, for £3, £3.50, no, £3 spend on them and then 50p for that, so £3.50 all in. But, from 3 quid, if I can get 15 quid plus a bit of postage on there, then I'm quite happy, but I don't know, I'll have to, have to double check on them. Um, but yeah, that was just a little pump, really, well, they were both punts. And then, I got this cookery book now. This was scanning, scanning in on Amazon, it was very, very high rank, but I think it was scanning in at some okay money. So I looked on eBay, and I checked sold, and there was one that had sold internationally, brand new, for like 87 quid. But as I say, that was like an international sale, but there was none listed of what I could find anyway, doing a very quick search. 
Um, and I thought, pre-owned, I'm just going to whack it on at something, you know, I don't know, I'll whack it on fairly high or whatever, and just see if there's any bites on that. That was a quid, so I don't know, it's kind of a bit of a weird day today. I just kind of like went outside my comfort zone and just took some, took some punts really. I mean, I wouldn't call it great stuff or anything, but we'll see anyway. So, I mean, that isn't entirely outside my comfort zone. I've done PC games and stuff before, but... I don't really pick that sort of stuff up anymore, you know, I've kind of branched out into more vintagey stuff, you know, so, yeah, I don't know, it's a bit, bit of an odd day really, but they're my little sort of finds for today, don't know, if I've done well, if I've done well, they'll be uh, appearing in the sales updates anyway, so, yeah, I will uh, leave it there guys, and also, as, as you can see, there are the poly bags there, um, yeah, so I'll leave it there, guys, and um, I will see you in the next one. So if you enjoyed it, please do give it a big thumbs up, as always. So I'll see you very soon.